Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. I'm All Dragon. And wouldn't you like to know what's in this chest? Well, so would I. Let's open it up. 7052 oh, and an item. No traps. No traps. Mithril mail. Mithril mail. Very nice. 20? No bonuses, though. I think we give that to whoever literally has the worst armor class right now. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's view people here. All right, what do we got? Two. Negative two. Negative thirteen. Oh. Okay. Negative six. I missed two. What you had? Oh, oh, negative fourteen. Okay. Negative six. Negative seven. Negative two. Negative nine. Negative ten. So it looks like Almondretta and Lethal are the two. Uh, oh no, Bobo's not even negative. Yeah, and Almondretta has more op options available. So yes, I think someone might. Have. Did somebody already have Mithril? No. Someone should. Bonary. And we have two uh, copies of Elven armor. Oh, there we go. No, Grimith yeah, Grimith Grimith had. Yeah. All right. So I, I knew guess someone had because we bought it. I guess it's up to it's on to Bobo then. Although he's yeah. very rarely come close to dying, but yeah. But I mean, he also has far fewer hit points than Lethal. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, in Le one of the reasons Lethal is so bad right now is because he lost his shield. Yeah. Might will move. Might as well jump. So the one thing is, is that I'm going to finish my uh, my little promenade around this room here because that's where I was kind of hoping to... Uh, I was like, maybe there's something off to the side. Uh, we can say goodbye to her. Yes, here lies the <laughs> corpse of our vanquished enemy left to rot. Oh, there's two ways to go. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Which one do you want to check? I'll check this. I gotta, I gotta search here. Hey! Find a shard! Must be the money. That is the second of the shards there. But what's here? Not a thing. It's just, some, it's just a, all you found was a bit of symmetry. <laughs> Man. And corpses. Uh, did you want to, um... Yeah, how do we get out of here? Is it priest or uh, was Word it? of Recall? Priest level six. I can never recall which one I want to use. There's our boat. We don't want to lose that boat. Uh, yeah, do you just, just want to sail that boat back up that uh, inlet? To the east? Yeah, oh yeah. Right in there. And just park in that little spot there. Oh, fine. So perfect, look at it. <laughs> it's a nice little cove. So and let's go all the way up to the, uh, the third city. Because that's going to be closer to the next dungeon. Stop by this town and see what they have for sale. That's true. And uh, get some magic points back. Yeah. Ah, uh, Mysterious JG. We at least need to buy a new shield for lethal. Yep. Let's start with the end. Gained a level, gained a level, gained a level, gained a level. Might as well stay twice. Yeah. Gained another level, gained another level. I have 19 spell points, oh my god. Here's the important part. This isn't going to tell us, is it? What? Whoops. I don't want to see Bean. 
Ah, this 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 has. There we go. Does this tell us if you're gonna be able to cast new spells yet? Uh, I think it's my wisdom that is limiting my pre-spells. Does it ever go up, or is it just? Uh, there's an item that increases it, but I don't think Ooh. twelve is. I don't think thirteen is gonna make any difference. I think it's le it's a uh, stat divided by three. So it's your stat. Oh, it's your stat, and then that's the maximum you can do. Yeah. And then you don't have access to them until you've leveled up. Yes. Correct. There. Yeah. I and we have. A, I have access to the level spells uh, due to levels. I yes. just my wisdom isn't high enough. Too liberal. Far too much heart. <laughs> what do you What are you selling? Death dagger. Which we can't afford. All it does is cast death. I mean, it's 1d10 plus, yeah. plus 4. Yeah, like 1d10 it's... plus 4 is not... Eh. I mean, it would be okay for uh, Binary, but at that price, no. Get a shield. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Where are we? Uh, right above Death Dagger. Give him a robe plus two. <laughs> Might as well sell all these guys. Yep. If we could get a hundred more bucks for these robe plus twos, we could easily break even buying and selling them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so we're following this road all the way to the other one? Yep. Yeah, we'll need to cast Invisibility first, though. Well, Yes, I because mean, we've spent we some time. We've spent a little time at the end, and our Invisibility wore off. Perhaps you turn it off automatically because you walk in and you go, you know what, they're just going to be freaked out if we start talking. I think the spell just doesn't last that long. You don't doesn't think it lasts last months? six months. I don't think it does, no. It'd be funny if it specifically... Well, I mean, it wouldn't work for walking around, but uh, like if it specifically lasted for... Well, the like, literal interpretation of the spell in uh, original 2nd edition materials is that it lasted until it was broken, which meant it could last many months. Ah. But any time we got into a fight, then it, it would have been gone. broken anyway, so... All right, what's in this market? What are you buying? What are you selling? Rod of Rescue. Rod of Rescue. This sounds like it's going to let you leave a dungeon. Don't buy it. Yeah. Yeah, Word of Recall. There you go. 25% chance of destruction. Ugh. I That's... think we pop out and pop back in, see if we can get a magic shield. See if we can get something better. Yeah. All right. What do you say is? Oops. What do you <laughs> say is? Come on. Yeah, Bolzame. You know you have a show. roll a heal. Psh, get out of here. We can do a couple in and outs and see what we uh, yeah. end up with. Come on, Bolzame. You know you want to give us a shield. Look at him there with his face. Dagger plus three. Uh, it might be worth checking Boneri, see what uh, what he's got. Oh, Staff of Glory. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the only other one might be Bobo. Yeah. He's already got the plus three. Yeah, okay. Come Just on. You know you want to give us a nice shield. I'm good here. Got 
Come on, we're not asking for that much. Just a just a little shield. Chain right. plus two. Dang, let's give it uh, a couple more tries and then we'll Yeah. Be shoving off as the Harper Helper would say. Because there's more than just uh one person who could use a, a nice fancy new shield. Uh like a shield plus three. Ooh. Roach of shielding. Weird. Let's uh, inspect that. It's just an extra five armor. That's not bad. Goes in the jewelry slot. Yeah. You want to buy it? Right. Got to get that. Got to get yeah. that. And then Roach the oath bow, which... Of shield? <laughs> No. Get out of here, Bo. Um, so, I guess let's look at people here. Because if they have jewelry already, like a girdle of strength, it's making their damage go yeah. up. Um, does that do anything else too? Can you use it for anything? Nope. Just bonus 70 your damage. And to hit, I think. Do you know what that means? That means the plus 21 that Lethal has is also partially just from wearing this girdle of strength. Yeah. So if he had that, if if he had lawful, could you imagine? Oh, yeah. He could have been cutting down gods. Oh, well. Yeah. Sucks to be you, Lethal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're not going to want to, we're not going to want to take that off here. Uh, no. Where it is? There we go. Bracers of defense. That's got to be like the, uh, yeah, it's the same kind of thing. Same kind of thing. Ooh, even more. But better. <laughs> and, I mean, Shaman's AC is negative 13 anyway, so... Yeah. The U, but better uh, thing. Negative 14 for Zerfall. He's got a Ring of Protection, plus 3. That's got to be this, but worse. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it might be worth taking off the Shield, plus 3 on... Uh, not Zerfall, but on... Um, Shaman? Shaman? Or you. One of the two. Swapping that over to lethal and then giving you guys a shield. Just yeah. to kind of even out the defense Probably a little bit. Probably off of Shaman. Yeah. Alright, no jewelry on Bean light yet. Yeah. AC minus six. Earl King minus it has bracers of defense though. Yeah. Almondretta minus two. Necklace of missiles is worthless, so. Yeah, that can be swapped out. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, you don't need it, but <laughs> you don't have anything. You can't equip a shield, though. Is I think part of the problem, or can they? Uh, no, they can't. All right, I just wasn't sure if we had some extra acid we didn't notice at some point. Um, ring of regen. Ring of regen is worthless, but AC minus ten is pretty good. Yeah. So it looks like uh, Almadreda might be winning here. Because it's just that JG and GG's really getting hit by stuff. Yeah. So there you go. You have your winner. Let's uh, equip. Flip. And then. And we need to go in and remove. You can't even wear necklaces. I guess because you can't cast spells. Fair enough. Yeah. It's probably worth just selling the necklace of missiles anyway. I think the only reason why we didn't was because it was actually not worth very much. Yeah, oh no, I don't think it is worth <laughs> much at all, but like, kind of, what's the point? Oh no. There we go. There we go. I can't believe I accidentally looked at that map. Ah, <laughs> oh, did the little bounce. That's yeah, 1500. I guess 10 bucks is 10 bucks. Yeah. All right, let's give let's give this one more go. All right. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll move on because we've kind of Yeah. Figured but out some that stuff is already. that is the genuine experience of this game. I mean, if I was sitting here playing this game on my own, I would prob. Oh my god! You can't <laughs> afford it now because you bought the other one. Oh, I know. 
Oh my god. Ah, uh, it's only plus eight. Yeah, but it is the best shield, I think. Yeah, and you can cast spiritual shield with a two percent chance of destruction. Yeah. That's how they get you. I mean, we could sell a really sweet sword. Yeah. Um, but I think the sword is going to do more good for us than this will. We could look through for some, like, jewelry that we have that we don't care about. I suppose we can look and see what... We're, we're looking... We're going to the pawn shop here. Let's see what we got. It's not going to be worth much. We don't want to sell the girdle of strength. It's worth three hundred thousand. Oh, I need two hands to press two on my keyboard. <laughs> uh, excuse me. There we go. Hey, he's got nothing. No, we don't want to sell any of the defensive ones. Healer potion's not going to be worth anything. I mean, the plus three isn't that amazing. On... Um, on the ring. No, but it's still it's still pretty good, and it's not being uh, used by anything. The Necronomicon, maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty expensive. We're not going to use it for anything anymore. Yeah. Astral Spell. We'll just cast that ourselves. Yeah, let's get that money. All right. Oh, what's this do? It just cast restoration. It's only five thousand though. Yeah. And then just to be sure, there's nothing else we we've just been hoarding on to. What that scroll of Katiar is offhand. Well, it can't, be too, it can't be too amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even worth. Yeah, it's not even worth much. All right, let's. Um... And you didn't check Bobo. Nah. Protection. What about this? What's this word? <laughs> can't sell the Selling can't the sell clones the, off. <laughs> that, <laughs> just gonna, just gonna casually uh, engage in some slavery, you know. Listen, it's not so bad because they're just magical clones, and then uh, they're not real people. They're, they're not just people. clones. When they die, and when they die, they just dissolve into nothingness, and then you make a new one, <laughs> right? So. If they were real people, we'd have to feel bad about treasuring them through all the death zones on purpose. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, there is a pretty casual, like, like, I mean, you, you gotta imagine that these death zones are pretty painful, you know? We're not caring about the clones at all, and sometimes we're not even car caring about our companions. Oh, oh, you know. <laughs> Those, <laughs> yeah, they're not even clones. Mysterious JG died again. Zerfall died again. Oh, we'll just resurrect him, it's fine. Purchase. <laughs> Leather plus three. Nice try. All right. Give it to Lethal. Yeah. And then we can go back to Shaman and give him back his hand me ups. Yeah. He hand them up to Lethal and then Lethal hand them back down. All right. You want to get to the uh, beginning of the uh, dungeon? Yeah, we gotta head on, head on to the next. Oh no! Do you know what I want to do first? Mm -hmm. You do. Perfect. I do want to know. Oh, I thought you. I just said, "Do you know?" And you said, "Yes." Uh, oh. I want. I want to find my instruction book so I can check off my. Ah yes, yes, good idea. Good idea. I'm also just gonna save a snapshot right here. That's probably a good idea. Just so that we don't, uh... There it is! <laughs> it's over by all the artwork I have been given. Alright, so this... We went to the Empress... Demon Empress zone, and she is gone. And the hidden one, boom, it's gone too. Land. So close. Two dungeons. Violet Anna's... Subterrain... All right. That's what we got next. And it's a two-level dungeon. A two, two. But wait, there's more. There is. 
So go along the road, and when it starts going north, just keep going north, even when it turns. Ah, see, I'm used to just going east, even when it turns. Oh, I guess we never really explored these mountains, eh? Oh, and it turns out there's a dungeon right in here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was very difficult to find. Oh, man. What's, what color is it going to be? Place your bets now. Ah, oh, too bad we're not streaming this. We could do a uh, prediction. <laughs> I'm going with purple. I'm going with red. Oh? All right, it's purple. I'll call it purple. All right, all it looks like we're purple. in the middle of a giant room for once when we come in. Normally, we're in the tiny little entrance, but... Uh, you want to is... reveal location? Oh, I suppose. Do you know what, though? Uh, as much as we ran out of match points last time, that was the first time, I think, in a, quite some time that we didn't go back to town right before the boss fight and get healed up. Yeah, that is true. That is that is definitely true. So we're at 11, 16. Latitude's like a ladder. <laughs> the most important thing I've learned from this video series. Indeed. Right, so we got a big hall, a uh, little one by one room over to the east. I see. Okay, 11 over, 16 down. A little off center, but. <laughs> so this is just stairs. Yeah, it's quite large, eh? Yeah. Yeah, big... Big room for us uh, to start here in. Big room tonight. Alright, let's just get in a little bit of this in. And of course, the other question is... Uh, where... Will we end up having to uh, go down from? Hmm. Maybe that little ele elevator shaft on the right. Could you imagine? Just like, here, go down right away. I don't care. You'll probably <laughs> die. I mean, so far, it seemed like uh, there's ample opportunities to just sk skedaddle on down before uh, taking out a, a first level boss. Well, yeah, there was that one dungeon that was like... <laughs> A million, a million paths that uh, you went top to bottom a whole bunch before you got to the first set of stairs that you could go down. But other yeah. than that, you're right. There was, uh, in a lot of these, and in, in fact, in many of them, there were traps to try to make you do it. Yeah, with the holes. Yeah. And of course, there is the spell uh, that takes you down a level. That's true, too. We've never explored that. Uh, that might actually, assuming it's, it depends on if it's random or not. I would. Uh, we we should probably try that. Maybe we should make a note that when we uh, start like the next episode or something, we should just try that, save it, and try and see oh, what yeah. happens. Uh, at, at the very least, to see if we end up at the same latitude and longitude. Yeah, because if or you do, could... then you can use it to your advantage very much. So once you know some stuff. Yeah, maybe we could actually. I mean, we're cl coming close on to the end of the episode now, anyway. Maybe we do that at the end of the episode. Save and just see what happens. See if it takes us to the exact same uh, latitude and longitude. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right, let's. Uh, all I gotta do is draw one line here, and then we're good to yeah. go. Big long one at the bottom. Okay. So I wonder if you could use that to just circumvent, like the need to. Uh, um... Can you go up to or just down? Uh, I think you can just go, I think you can only go down, uh, uh, but you can just word of recall to get back to the entrance. That's true. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Well, the reason why I wanted to know if it was up and down, though, is because then you could really, especially if you're speed running it, you could be like, okay, you go down here, then over to here, then up, then over, then you got this boss, fight him, beat that yeah. boss, go over here, go back down, now you're fighting the other boss. And yeah, get yeah. around the uh, death tiles and stuff. Um, so who's going to cast that? You got to save? 
Of course I do. <laughs> I think it's a level four wizard. Ooh, that's the wizard. Well, we don't want to, we don't want to change Grimoth's magic points, so. Oh, they're the perfect number, huh? <laughs> Dimensional door. Yep. And then reveal location. It hey. does. Looks like the exact same spot. So there we go. All right. Well, I'm going to say next, let's call it a video here. And next time when we come back, we will begin exploring the upper level of this dungeon. But it is interesting that we can yeah. pop down whenever we want. And in between videos, yeah. I will draw out the little bit of this map that we see now. Okay. So we'll see you all next time in this dungeon, the uh, Violet Violet Subterrain. Subterrain. All right. Bye. Say goodbye.